It's been a full year now that many of us have been getting used to working from home. And with many people stuck at home, working in their own home offices, and also choosing to start their own small businesses, I thought it would be awesome to share seven tips to keep you productive in your own home office. Now, I've been working from home for three years now before we actually had to do it. I quit my day job and started doing wedding photography full time. I had already had wedding photography going for about four years while I was also at my day job, but taking a leap of faith, I went ahead and quit the day job and have been now working from home for three years. And one of the biggest things I found is that that change from commuting and going to work and working from home is pretty huge. So I'm gonna share with you all today seven tips to keep you productive while you're working from home. And the biggest one and probably the most important to me personally is treat every day like you're going into the office. It is super easy when you're working from home to forget about normal office life and having to dress up and be presentable in front of others. But doing this helps you stay productive. So even if you're just at home, chilling around in your pajamas is usually not the best. Keep in mind while we're working from home, it's all a mental game at that point. And anything you can do to put yourself in the mindset of, hey, I'm at work now, is hugely helpful. When I start my day, I usually always make sure to dress nice like I would if I were going into the office. So a normal t-shirt and some nice slacks, maybe a button up shirt, yes, I will wear all of that at home even if I'm going nowhere and seeing no one else. Having that mindset of I'm at work now really propels me to keep doing work and to stay productive. So don't slack on getting dressed. I know it can be annoying when you're not going anywhere and it's easy to just sit in your pajamas all day, but trust me, I did that the first year when I quit my day job. And yeah, <laughs> it just, I don't know, I felt slop all day, just like sitting in my pajamas, sitting in my underwear, all, it just, it didn't help me stay productive. The next thing is something my wife gets on me all the time about, but having a clean office. And it's super true, having a nice, clean, beautiful space for you to work in helps you stay productive. I'm hands down the king of clutter, and I usually have way too much stuff on my desk, way too much stuff just sitting around the office or on another desk, which literally just way too much stuff. But whenever I have the office nice and clean, it really just makes the space feel larger and more just, I wanna be there and I wanna work. Anything that will help you stay in your space of work helps you be more productive. Make sure to clean up everything that you can, keep your desk clean, keep the floor clean. In your home office, make sure to decorate it in a way that you would like. Get art pieces that make the space feel beautiful to you. Make sure to open the windows up and let in lots of natural light. Make the space a space you want to be in, and it will highly change your productivity. I've come to find as well, adding some plants in your space also helps, and it gives you something to do as well, to take a little break and water your plant, and just having some more living things in your space really does help it become more of a productive, beautiful space. Going along with a clean office, you also wanna make sure that you have a nice desk set up and an ergonomic chair. Since the desk is the main place we all do our work nowadays, since we're all on computers, really, your desk setup is the home base of your whole office. And if you don't have a nice desk set up that again is not cluttered and it's just beautiful looking and somewhere you can feel good while you're working, you're not gonna be productive at all. I recently upgraded my desk to the Branch Furniture Desk and I absolutely love this desk. It is amazing. The biggest way this desk is helping me with being productive is the fact that it's so beautiful, minimalistic, and is great for cable management. There's grommets built in on the back that make running your cables extremely easy, and as someone like me who has a bunch of gear, I was surprised at how well I was able to get my cable management and keep my office space nice, beautiful, and just clean of like, cables all over the place. If you wanna learn more about the branch desk, definitely check it out up above in the link. Also, make sure you have an ergonomic chair. I'm using one also by Branch Furniture. And this chair, hands down, is probably the best for the price I've used. It has lumbar support and the ergonomics are just absolutely amazing. 
Since we spend most of our time in a chair, if you don't have a nice ergonomic chair that's gonna keep you sitting up straight and your arms aren't too high or too low while you're typing, it just kills productivity like almost instantly. I spend all of my time either editing videos or editing photos and really this chair helps me sit for hours and hours and not really feel it. I've not had a chair that has been this nice to sit in and I really love it. And on top of that, it goes along with the aesthetic of the rest of my office, so it looks great too. So really, don't slouch on your desk setup. It's very easy to just have a desk and slap a bunch of stuff on it and have cables all over the place and sit in a random chair that you got that's not even that great, but this is the main place where you're doing your work. It needs to look good, feel good, and help you be productive. The next thing as a musician is something I absolutely always have to have, but get some nice, chill instrumental music to help you stay productive. Again, I'm a musician at heart. I went to school for music and I always have music playing in my house. Music helps me stay productive, but there are a couple of stipulations to the music I like to listen to. Generally, I always listen to instrumental music. Music with lyrics to it is awesome. I love listening to singers and rappers and just whatever, but when you're trying to work and concentrate on something, having someone basically talking in the background is distracting. You may not feel like it is, but it's using a part of your brain that you have to listen to the words. So always hands down use instrumental music. And I know there's a huge movement right now of lo-fi music. I've actually been into that type of stuff for years now and I sound <laughs> like a total old head. But get yourself some nice lo-fi chill hip hop beats to put on in the background. One of my favorite labels for this is Chill Hop. If you're not familiar with Chill Hop, definitely make sure to check out their YouTube channel. They have live streams that go up 24 seven or you can just get into all their music and start downloading their mixes and just all their albums. They have so much stuff and it's so good. On top of that, you have other artists like Kiefer and Paul Grant and just so many more. I actually have a playlist that I created on Apple Music. For any of the Apple Music folks, you can check it out in the description below. But yeah, just a little playlist of instrumental kind of jazz, hip hop, lo-fi stuff that I listen to while I work. Now that we got our nice space, we got our music on, everything's clean. The next thing you need to do to stay productive is to minimize distractions. This one's probably the hardest and I also deal with this myself like every day. I mean, we all do. We have phones that are constantly giving us notifications and people hitting us up, people texting us, people calling us and stuff. But really, if you can minimize the distractions, obviously you can be way more productive. The first way I like to do this is by setting off time in my calendar. You wanna block out times where it's like, hey, don't mess with me, don't touch me, I'm trying to work, just don't even get in contact with me. Put these times in your calendar so that you know when you need to do a 15, 20, 30 minute max out, let's go ahead and get this work done before you take a break. And if you live in a household with others and you share a calendar, putting these in your calendars is super helpful as well because then they can know, hey, this person is working, I should leave them alone for the next 30 minutes so they can get some work done. Another way you can minimize your distractions is by making sure your office is in a non-common space. With everyone working from home last year, it was common to see a lot of people just set up their desk in like the living room area or somewhere close to there, but you're sitting with like everyone. So, you know, someone else in your family could be playing a video game or watching TV or just doing something or a friend comes over. You don't wanna be in a common space. You wanna find a nice space that you can use for your office, even if it's not the largest space. Just somewhere where when things get loud and distracting, you can close the door and get that stuff away and focus on your work. Also, if y'all haven't heard the updates on iOS 15 and Mac OS Monterey, they have some really good focus modes and do not disturb modes that are just really, really cool. I've been playing around with it now on the public beta and it's definitely something that can help you stay productive. Basically, you can set it up where only important notifications and people can get in contact with you. You could turn on your focus for certain tasks. So basically, if you're working or if you're working out or if you're in a meeting, you can have a different focus for each and certain people and things that can notify you during those times. Also, since this stretches between all your devices, it is really easy to set it up, turn it on, and then just have no one mess with you at all. And then the last thing I do to minimize distractions 
is get a pair of noise canceling headphones and literally just tune out. <laughs> I've been using AirPods, which I absolutely love. I work out in them as well as use them for work sometimes. And really when the kids are downstairs and they're screaming and it's just too much, I turn on the noise canceling and just hit the road and get that work done. And at that point, basically no one can get in touch with me. Daddy is just gone. <laughs> The next thing to do to keep yourself productive is to make sure you're taking breaks. The easiest trap to fall into when you're working from home or working for yourself is basically working forever. That's something I dealt with on my first year of working from home, just being like, well, there's no hours set. I can start work when I want to. I can end work when I want to. I can work at 12 p.m. I can work in the middle of the night. I can work in the weird part of the night. I can just work forever. And that's just, it's not good for anyone. You need to take breaks. If you live in a household with family members, eat breakfast, eat lunch with them. Do something to make yourself stop for at least 30 minutes, 15 minutes or something, and do something else. Like I said earlier, if you have a plant, take a moment to water your plant, get up, walk around. Another way to kind of take a break too is if you have a standing desk, it's kind of nice to just lift it up and stand for a moment, walk around your room a little bit, and then come back to your work. But breaks are extremely important and they need to be taken. Again, like I said, I actually carve out Sunday and don't work at all. I don't answer emails. I don't get in touch with couples. I don't do anything at all. So on top of having a full day you can take off, you also during your day need to make sure that you're taking time away from your work, even if it's only 30 minutes, really. It will help you stay productive and not feel totally burnt out. Because remember, when you're starting to feel burnt out, but you're still sitting there working, it's like diminishing returns at that point. You're like wasting more time when you could have rested and then worked better later. And last but not least, make sure to drink lots of water and focus on your health. When you're working from home and you're not commuting at all, you can basically cut out any physical activity. You're not really walking anywhere. You're just not doing anything. And you really start to feel that after you've been working from home for like six months or longer. I highly, highly recommend for anyone even if you're not trying to work out or anything, to get out and do like a five to 10 minute walk before you start working. I've been working out recently. I do it first thing in the morning and it makes me way more productive during my day just by getting out and doing like an hour or so of working out. Also, drinking water is huge. Not only does it help your body just function better, and I'm sure it probably helps your brain as well, but it keeps you from snacking because one of my biggest habits is when I'm sitting down working and I'm just typing and doing emails and stuff, all I do is snack, like literally all day. Give me a whole bag of Skinny Pop. <laughs> you know, Skinny Pop don't stop. I'd be in there just <laughs> And it's just, it's not good for your day to be constantly snacking like that. It's not good for your health. And again, it's not good for your productivity. So get yourself a big water jug, I have a big plastic one that I use, or I have some corksicles to help my water stay cold all day. Get something like that and just drink water whenever you're feeling antsy or like you need to do something else than your work. And again, get out, get a nice walk in, get a quick jog in, five to 10 minutes, longer if you want to. Something to get your body moving, it will make you feel so much better and it will help you sit in your chair for longer because no one likes to sit for that long. <laughs> so those are seven ways that I feel like you can stay productive. I hope those tips helped you out. Again, these are all things that I've kind of learned from my three years of working from home. And as a YouTuber and wedding photographer, I pretty much spend most of my time in my office, just here, editing videos, editing photos. Yeah, I shoot weddings, but that's like eight hours a weekend every couple of weekends. You know, it's, it's not often. Most of my time is spent here. This is my work. And out of all these tips, I've also done all the bad habits, which is why I'm sharing this with you all, because I hope it helps you with working at home and making it a better experience. Because my first year of working for myself, working from home was not the greatest. And I like went days without taking showers and just stayed in my pajamas. I just felt horrible. <laughs> if you have any other tips to help stay productive, leave them down in the comments below. Again, on this channel, we love to learn and share knowledge. If you like that and you want to hear more about wedding photography and also being a creative entrepreneur, make sure to subscribe to the channel, 
and like for more future videos, and I will catch you all next time. All right, peace.